Hello and welcome to Burn to Learn. This is Rod Davis and we have dedicated this video to a good friend who did not know how to use the reply function of Outlook 2016, especially when she wanted to reply to more than one person. So get ready for us to show you how to use the reply function of Outlook 2016 step by step. Okay, so now we're on the home page of Outlook 2016. And as you can see, we've received an email. So let's open it by clicking on it. And then we have to reply. So how do we do that? You reply by clicking on the reply tab. And when you click on the reply tab, an email format appears already addressed to the, the sender who sent you the email. So now all we need now to do is to put in a note, a response. So thanks for this information. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's make sure we show who this is from by putting in our signature. So click on the signature tab. Click on the signature you want. In this case, it's Rod Davis. And it should, there it is. Nice, beautiful signature. So now the recipient will know exactly who this is from. Okay, when well, we're comfortable with that, and we are, let's hit the send button, and we will have replied. Now, supposing we received an email from several people, as is the case in what we see on the screen, how do we, we reply to all of them at the same time? The answer is we click on the reply all button. And when we do that, now the email format appears and it is addressed to all of the people from whom the email was sent. We can also add another name if we want to. We can add as many as we may care to. Now let's send them a note. Thanks. And now add a signature so that they also know from whom it comes. Click on the signature you want and the signature appears automatically. Now let's just send it off. Okay. And off it goes. Now, supposing we wanted to forward the same message, but to someone else, how would you do that? The answer is you click on the forward button, and when you click on it, an email format appears. Okay. Now we have to put in the names of the person we want to forward this email to. So we can use the address book tab to find a name, or we could type it out. Now we're going to select a name here. And the name is John Smith. Click OK. And his name appears automatically. Now let's send him a message for your information and include our signature and it appears in all of its glory. Now we just send it off. You have seen how we included a signature in our emails. If you would like to know how to create a signature, just refer to our video tutorial number six, which is called creating a signature. Now you know how to use the reply function and the forward function and the reply all. Now let's replying with a meeting request. We are now the home page. Let's scroll up and hit the reply with meeting button. When you do that, the meeting request format appears and now we have to decide on what location we will meet at. Let's decide to meet in downtown Starbucks. And now let's decide on the date. Let's choose the 14th. And now let's decide on the meeting. So it'll be 10.30 in the morning to 11. So now we're going to write a message as well as insert our signature. So click on the signature tab, choose the signature you want. And there it is. Now let's send them a note saying, see you all there. 
Now let's push the send button and off it will go. Now let's look at how to use the function of more respond actions buttons. So on your screen, just scroll up to the icon on the lower of the two and then it, it drops down to a command for forward as attachment. So click that and the format for attachment appears. Now we need to put in the address of the person we're sending it to. We can either type it in or go to our address box. So let's just do that. Find the name John Smith. Click there. Click OK and his name appears. Uh, everything looks good so far. So now we want to add a note. And we're just going to give a simple message here for your information, John. And now we're going to add our signature. Select Rod Davis's signature. It appears. It looks great. And now we're good. So now we just want to point out that the subject line has the key indicators of a forward function, the FW. So that forwarding an, an attachment works. Everything looks great, so now let's just simply send it. We just sent an attachment that now, let's go check to see if the person actually got it. So we're going to go to the recipient's email account, and we see that our appointment uh, attachment is there loaded. Let's click on it to open it. And we're going to do exactly what the recipient would do. So let's click to open. There it is. And there is the attachment. So now let's click on the attachment to download it. The command appears on the bottom left. Let's click on that. And there it is. We now know this works very well. Now, not only you know how to use the reply function in Outlook 2016, but our good friend to whom we dedicated this tutorial also knows. And she and you can replay the video anytime you want should you have a question. In our next video, we will show you how to use Quick Step in Outlook 2016. Until then, have fun.